Hello and welcome to my meditation. My name is Deborah Baker and I'm so delighted that you've joined us for this little while. We are back in Kansas. So no more alohas, but I will still include some pictures at the end of our trips to Hawaii with just a wonderful time and feeling so very, very blessed. Ah, so let's get ready to meditate, shall we? Let's enjoy the view of one of my last peonies still blooming and begin with our three nice really deep breaths. So breathe in, fill up your lungs, hold it for a second and then let it go and then breathe in a little more deeply. Hold it for a moment and then And now take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Fully fill up your fill up your lungs. And then let it go. <clears throat> so I was asking my spirit guides and guardian angels what um, what would our theme be for today? And I and I ran across this talk title for someone that said something about activating the infinite presence in yourself. And I bristled, <laughs> I'll be honest, I bristled, because we don't have to activate anything. It is already active in us. It is already there. <laughs> That's Daisy jumping through the daylilies, in case you heard that noise. So let's imagine first uh, relaxing our bodies. So feel that white light, like it's the sun or this clearing, relaxing energy entering into the top of your head and going down through your head and your face. So feel your, your brow soften, your eyes kind of sink back. Your face lose all expression. Your jaw, you know, relax, maybe your um, lips part a little. Feel it in the back of your head, back and sides of your head and in your neck, moving down your neck one vertebrae at a time. Just this sense of peace and relaxation, like all is well, like those birds that are singing. <laughs> Saying all is well in the bird world. And now feel it in your shoulders. Feel your shoulders sink down and your neck get a little longer. And feel the energy move into your upper chest, your collarbone, into your shoulder blades, your upper arms, all through your rib cage. And just breathe into that energy. Feel that energy move through your body. And now feel it move down into your midsection. Just allow your tummy muscles to relax, your sides, your back. Down into your lower back, your hips, your lower torso, all the way down to your pelvic floor. And just feel your body just naturally in the rhythm of the universe. You know, these birds were quiet until I started recording. And now they all have to get their two cents worth in, which honestly kind of entertains me. Ah, and so now feel that energy moving through your body into your legs, the tops of your legs, down through to your knees, through your knees, into your calves and shins, all the way into your feet. And just let go. So what keeps us from experiencing the presence of the divine in us? It's about holding on. It's about gripping too tightly. And it's also about thinking that there's something we need to do to earn that or 
we need to do something, you know, like I said, activating the presence within us. The presence is already there. So it's like you have water, if you have city water at your house, um, you have water, and all you need to do is turn the faucet on. It is so funny, it was so quiet out here when I was setting up my camera and my tripod. So turning the faucet on. So I'm getting ready to do a chakra detox. And I'm still kind of getting direction from my guides as far as how to do that. But we'll do a little, like a mini course in it today. Imagining how we can release energy in each of our chakras to allow ourselves to experience our infinite selves to allow the infinite to be more present for our thoughts and words to get out of the way so that we can be the presence so that we can experience our own infinite selves <sighs> So beginning with our root chakra, let's just imagine breathing into our tailbones, seeing the color red, beautiful shade of red, and thinking about our bodies, our human experience, our physicality. Now we are taught in our society to compare our bodies to other people's bodies and in, in consequence to find them lacking somehow, unfortunately. So I invite you to just know that your body is perfect for you exactly as it is and to know that your infinite soul chose this body and our bodies are also very informative. They tell us a lot. So I was working on a client this week and we were working with affirmations and I could feel this tightness in her neck, the back of her neck. And so I was just gonna work with some affirmations with her like I, I am willing or I am in the flow of the universe. And I, so I tried a few of them out and and I could tell by the tightness in her neck whether she agreed with the affirmation or not. And the thing about affirmations is when we can allow them to work for us is when we have some level of acceptance. So if we choose something, like we say something like, I am a multi-billionaire who owns my own private island. Well, if there's a lot, to, that's just an example, so if, if there's a lot about that that you resist, you know, like, well, I only have, you know, $100 in my checking account and, you know, I live in Kansas or whatever it may be, you can see how you, your psyche, your personality, your mind cannot accept that possibility. So then you, you backtrack till you get to a point where you find an affirmation that you can accept. So in her case, I was, you know, I, I am um, I'm in the flow of the universe and, and th that didn't work. So I, I'm willing to be in the flow of the universe. I, I'm willing to shift my thoughts so that I can understand the flow of the universe and synchronize with it. And so I'm willing to accept my body as it is. As I accept my body as it is, I also notice that I can make changes to it if I'd like. And so sending that level of acceptance to your root chakra and allowing the infinite to be present there so that you fully embrace your physical self. And then focus on the uh, sacral chakra, the orange one, 
just below your navel, between your tailbone and your navel. Picture the color orange and think about, the guide said, think about your personality. Think about how your infinite self is manifesting, is, is showing, is expressing itself. So your creativity, your enthusiasm, how, how you are, who you are. And some people are embarrassed about themselves. You know, I'm, I'm too shy, I'm too outgoing, I'm too outspoken, I'm too this, I'm too that, or I'm not enough this, I'm not enough that. And I invite you to be willing to accept yourself exactly as you are. To not resist your personality, to not resist how your infinite self is expressing here in the world. And just relax into that and know that while you can choose to make changes, it is so healthy to be in a place of acceptance of yourself. And now focusing on the solar plexus, the yellow, just above your navel. That represents our sense of courage, our sense of self-definition. So it's like who I am, who I'm willing to be, how I express myself in the world. And so let's invite in a sense of acceptance so that how I show up in the world is exactly perfect for my soul, for my infinite self. I have courage when I need it. I acknowledge when I'm feeling fearful and I don't judge myself harshly because of it. And just feel your gut untangled, knowing that everything is in perfect divine order, meaning that your soul is expressing right here, right now, exactly as you need it to. And you don't owe anyone any explanations about that. And now shift your focus to your heart space, right in the middle of your chest. And of course we know that's where we feel our, our sense of love, our sense of, you know, being loved, uh, our emotional well-being. So I invite you to just accept where you are right now. So if your heart is heavy, embrace that. My heart is heavy today. If your heart is light, embrace that as well. My heart is light today, or, or I'm neutral. I'm neither euphoric, nor, nor sad, or glum. I'm just neutral. I love neutral. Neutral's great. <sighs> but know that wherever it is, it's where you are today, and we embrace it. We embrace each moment exactly as it is. And I wish you could smell these peonies. They are so sweet. And now think about the, shift your focus to the throat chakra, the blue. By the way, the heart chakra was green. I don't know if I said the solar plexus was yellow and the heart is green and now we're at the blue throat chakra. And the throat chakra is all about how we express ourselves, how we speak our truth, how we perceive the truth. And a lot of times that's where we find resistance. Because we, it's okay to be ourselves. It's okay to speak our truth. And so often, so many of us choose not to speak our truth for fear we will offend someone, or hurt someone, or you know, not be accepted for who we are. And I invite you to set that aside for a moment and just think about accepting yourself for who you are, telling yourself the truth. And then shift your attention to your third eye chakra, right behind your forehead 
above your eyebrows, below your hairline. But in the middle of your head, the bluish purple. Just breathe into it. The third eye chakra is about how we see the world, how we see truth, how we see our place in the world, how we see other people's place in the world, how we see beauty, how we see darkness. Just know that what you see today, how you perceive color, how you perceive beauty, is unique to you and, and you know, thank goodness for that. We welcome that. We welcome your uniqueness. And shift finally to the crown chakra, the purple. Right at the top of your head. And that's about your connection to all that is. So that's the the best place to kind of conclude this meditation because, or to, to wrap it up, because your crown chakra is about your infinite self. It's about allowing your infinite self to express in, through, and as you. So when we think about our crown chakra being open, we think about freely expressing who we are. And you are whole and perfect exactly as you are. You don't owe anybody any explanations for who you are. You are whole and perfect as you are, exactly as you are, and we celebrate you. And so just take a breath and just feel that energy moving up and down your spine, up and down your body. and know that the infinite presence is moving in through and as you all the time. You don't have to do anything to earn it. You don't have to do anything to activate it. But you can relax and allow more of it, more and more of it to show up as you. In you, through you, as you. Because life goes better when you do. And you deserve for life to go better. Why not? So I invite you to know right here and right now that the infinite presence, the one presence, the one power, God, the omnipotence, divinity, is expressing, is present right here as you, in you, through you. When people see you, when people talk to you, they see God, they see the one presence. So I invite you to allow it to bless you as well and to allow the, all the blessings that you give out to the universe to come back to you multiplied many times over. Thank you so much for joining us today or whenever you listen in and may or the infinite presence may be in through and as me honors and recognizes the infinite presence moving in through and as you. Namaste. Have a wonderful week.